Okay, get another stoichiometry problem. This time we're really going to be taking the difficulty level up a bit because we're going to deal with grams, not just mole ratios. We're going to throw grams in. Now remember, you can't use a calculator, no calculator on this test. So all the numbers, though, will generally be easy to work with and uh, basically make the numbers easy to work with. So you don't really need a calculator anyway. So just keep that in mind that everything should work out very clean, very neat. The combustion of protein proceeds according to the equation above, which, by the way, is balanced, and you could verify that yourself if you want to. How many grams of water will be formed in the complete combustion of 44 grams of propane? Okay, so we've got 44 grams of protein, protein, propane. We want to know how many grams of water will be formed. Well, let's go ahead using factor label method, dimensional analysis. Let's get the molar mass of this. Well, each carbon is 12, so 12 times 3 is 36. Each hydrogen is 8. So 36 plus 8 is 44. Hooray. So as you can see, the, the molar mass is 44. So this is one mole of propane. So if one mole of propane is used, then how many moles of water is formed? Well, it's one mole of propane. We look for the mole ratio. For every one mole of propane, according to the equation, we produce four moles of water. So in this case, we're going to be producing four moles of water. And finally, the molar mass of water is 18. So four moles of water convert it into grams as follows. And we get, in the end, uh, 72 grams of water which is choice D. So I did it all written out here, but in theory, you could do this in your head. You can say, well, I got one mole of propane, creates four moles of water. Each of those moles is 18 grams, so four times 18 is 72, choice D, right? So you could do it in your head. I wrote it, I wrote it out here just so you can see how it works out. Uh, and you can see the numbers work out really nice and clean, which is what I said at the beginning of the question. Yeah, so that's stoichiometry. Uh, you don't have to use factor label method or dimensional analysis too much on this test because this isn't such a math-heavy test. It's more conceptual. Uh, but obviously having it is important and necessary for some problems, or at least understanding the process.